Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3. We are still... We're still kicking. We're 54 years old. Uh, Alfonso the first, Alfonso the fifth is definitely making moves. Um, it's a bummer that my daughter Judith died at 22. Goodness gracious, nice little hiccup there. 22 in childbirth. But uh, Alfonso is 16. He's a charismatic negotiator. I think he will be a wonderful king. He is allied to the King of England via his betrothal to uh, Eleonora of Leon of England. He's of Leon. There you go. Okay, so we are going to see what we can do to um, do not have a cast this bell eye. I would like to attack him. But I don't know if the Byzantines came and landed a bunch of men over here. Like, that would be kind of nutty, honestly. Defending against the Byzantine Liberty Warm. So we just need to kind of keep an eye on what's going on with the Byzantines. Um, my vassals have been, you know, getting quite a bit of the land over here. So let's take a look. These guys, we don't have a truce with them. We could call for a holy war for, um, say... Toledo. Aragon. I think Toledo sounds good. Let's declare that war. And I'm just banking on the fact... Ooh. Ooh that music, though. All right, let's call the Holy Roman Empire in. And just like that, we should be able to, uh, to spank them. We'll see how it goes, though. Calter has discovered battlements. Very good. And as we finish up this guy here in two years, we'll have an even more land over here. Not happening. Goodness gracious, this music is crazy. Let's see here. You want to fight? Let's see here. You want to fight? Head on up there, man. He's in debt, which is a good thing. But, um, don't think it's going to be super helpful. Let's get on up here. This should be fine. There we go. They have higher quality, but, uh, I don't think that matters a whole lot. It said it was going to be even. But I feel pretty confident that we can beat up on them in over here. Alright, the road. My duchess, my steward. Duchess Loba informs me that there has been a desperate need for a new road traverse in the county of Avila. Uh, many of the old roads are dilapidated and even dangerous. Well, see it done. Sounds good to me. I can even pay for it if, if it's needed. Ah. Count Nuno has been injured in battle. All right. There. Pedro was slain in battle. Um... He's an unimportant courtier, but if you uh, follow Catholicism, you may be free. There you go. He's a Catholic living down here. Roadside patrols, so they get control growth. Very good. Sounds good to me. So these guys are defending... In a war for what? So they're defending in a war that doesn't look like they're going to win either way. So we're good. Empty counselor position. Okay. Constructed lessons learned. Nice. Building time is always a nice one. Um, I'll give this one to Mayor Andres. And uh, train commanders, huh? Garrison growth. Eh, I think we're gonna stick with this one. So these see these guys are fighting down here. I don't have to do anything And remember we have these um these men-at-arms that are giving us 1.2 which is crazy so we gain a little bit of money and uh, Where's that villa where's that even at I'll I'll pay for that that's okay um, we'll actually have my, since it's my personal 
I'll send him down to go handle that. These guys can come up into these mountains. I think the uh, the Holy Roman Emperor is going to make mincemeat of him. Let's see if we can corner him. Cutting construction costs. Control growth. Or popular opinion. Oh, I misclicked, but that's okay. So we're going to come down here. Yeah, there we go. Work to death. Popular opinion. Lose some money and... Uh, nah, this is fine. I'll lose the 60. They're going to beat up on him. We're good. This is this is a done deal. We're going to get all this too. It's going to be great. Good use of the Holy War CB. Good thing we took the prestige back in those events. Nice. Getting a stewardship perk for free. Taxman. Um. Yeah, I think I actually do want the taxman. It's gonna give me a little bit more money, which is gonna be super useful. There you go. You can siege him down. Sounds good. Don't really need you up here, brother, but uh, I appreciate the help nonetheless. Very good. Prisoners, I will ransom everybody I can. Take as much money from these as we possibly can. You can see it's going to take us down. I don't particularly mind. As soon as this fight is over, we're going to destroy them. And it'll probably actually push us over to the 100 again. Ah, it's very close. So, who are you? Okay, well, as long as you convert, you all can leave. I'm not a very pious man, but I'm doing my best, you know? You gotta remember that all these people will stay in these provinces, so it's a good thing that we're keeping them. We want to. Making sure that th we have good, um, you know, religious... So yeah, we're gonna have to take this. Alright, very good. So let's come on over here. As soon as we take this one, we'll actually be good. So let's just uh, take this siege here. We'll have it here in a month, and we can finish up this holy war. We can unlock another perk. Mm. What is this? Holding taxes? Yeah, let's make sure our mayors like us a little bit more. We'll see. Well, maybe we can finish it out. Who knows? All right, so prisoners. I will ransom. We'll ransom everybody we can first off. Gotta make that money. Demand a conversion. Absolutely, man. See, we're getting rich off war. It's very much a good call. Look at this. Look how much money we have now. Uh, we'll enforce the demand and now Toledo is all ours. It's actually entirely all ours. So what we're gonna do here... We're going to grant a bunch of land down here to uh, various members of our culture group. Not our son. Uh, okay. And then what I'd like to do is grant this Toledo to my son, my youngest son, as well as the, uh, can I not usurp this? He's in a war. Whenever he's done with his war, I can usurp his title. Where's he at here? Okay. Let's see here. I will grant him the title of Toledo. He'll be my vassal. That's fine. So let's also take a look over here. Let's disband that army. So that's a nice land grab right there. Um, that's a very good land grab, actually. So it looks like we've got some land down here. Portugal is also making the moves. Okay, so you guys need to give me... Uh, I think I'm just going to hold off for a minute. So let's, let's take a step back and see what we need to change here. 
So the bowmen seem like they're pretty helpful. 30 damage, but what we could really use is some like armored horsemen. They're very expensive though. Caballeros, caballeros. Actually, don't know what they are. Unique Spanish, I assume. What's the difference? They're a little more expensive. Re reinforce the 100. Okay. Light cavalry. Are the stats literally the same? No. So these guys have more pursuit. These guys have more screen. Damage is the same. Alright, let's do it. And we'll upgrade these guys. Let's go with 400. And then our bowmen up to 500 or 400. And then these guys up to 30. And that will make our seat. It's, it's going to hurt our bank, but it's going to make our, our wars go much, 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 much easier. Which is totally worth it, if you ask me. So it looks like these guys over here are fighting some wars. Once this guy's out of his war, we can uh, usurp his title. So we're just waiting on that. And after that's done, we're good. So it looks like he is mar making his way down here. Let's take a look here. Don't have any prisoners, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Let's, um, let's sway you. Alliance formed with Hermit of England. Very good. Call to war. Liberty to war. What is this about? So, Herman. The King of England. Who I believe is betrothed to my daughter? Am I wrong here? Princess Eleonora. Who is his sister? Yeah, it is. So his sister... Wait, what? No, no, no. Here she is. So she is married to my son and heir. Why does he look like that? That's so weird. Why is he wearing this like peasant's outfit? Okay, anyways, this is fine. Um, who are you fighting, man? Uh, that's uh, that's pretty bad. I mean. I think I accidentally auto-declined it, but yeah, I can't really do that. Sounds like a bad call, honestly. Let's see here. Right. Thought I heard a noise out there. Demand payment. Very good. Give me that money, baby. can declare war. He's still allied to the Byzantines. Our total soldiers are going up significantly though, which is great. Issue is, is that their quality is not very good. So, quality gauges the power of an army relative to its number of soldiers. An army that only contains knights and men at arms will be of high quality, while an army containing a large number of levies will be of lower quality. So basically what it's saying is we just need more men-at-arms, right? Let's more, put more bowmen in. And then... That's fine. It is going to cost us a lot, but it will make us very strong. Mm, nope. I don't think so. You pay your taxes, you dang fools. So yeah, that's the problem is that we're going to need to have a war tax, war chest basically at all times or else we will have issues with our finances if we ever go to war. So we're going to have to try to keep some money in the bank at all times moving forward, which we can do. No problem. That's fine. So we're just going to overrun those guys real easy. Disband them. So be it. Can I ran ransom you? No. I'll release you for a week, Hook, though. Very good. So, 
Who are my vassals and who do I have hooks on? Let's see here. My vassals, I have no hooks on any of my vassals by the looks of it. None of my powerful ones. Just my son. Looks like he is not betrothed to anybody. That's actually of Portugal. Interesting. She's on our pod. Hmm. Just looking around, you know. Gotta make sure we weigh our options here. Alliance power, the Kingdom of Poland. Gain an alliance with the French, which I don't particularly want. So he's married to one of the princesses of England. But it looks like England is... Okay, so he won his fight, his war, which is great. So yeah, I think I will arrange a marriage between uh, my son and his sister. That's fine. We have our, our, war, t our war chest building up, which is great. And we have this little... Our guy over here. So we have a dangerous faction. Let's take a look at this. Uh, liberty faction, huh? What is this about? So they want to lower the crown authority, which... I can understand that. So let's see here. Can I send her a gift? I cannot. She wants too much. Hmm. Am I swaying somebody? Yeah, nobody important. I think we sway her. She's gonna... They're probably gonna actually demand that. I'm just gonna preemptively do it. To prevent that from happening. Wait, what? No. It's still fired anyways. Well, that doesn't sound right at all. That's pretty annoying, man. Okay, well, I guess I learned that. That's unfortunate. That hurts our taxes pretty bad. But, uh, you know, in a few years we'll be able to do it. We are 57. We'll see how things are moving along here. These guys are almost done with their wars. Man, they're in a bunch of wars. This poor guy. Poor Yaha. He's finally of age. My vassal has found another cadet branch of my dynasty. Yemena Krato. Krato. Alright, so. Where are we at here now? We are a reputable family. Oh, the Poland. Poland has been lo become long. Bolesla. Where is our, uh, where's our man over here? Ah, he's died. Bratislav. Died in battle. Feels bad, man. So I've gained additional monies. I like money. Let's build some buildings to make more money, right? Why not? A scheme at court. We must stop the villain. Who done it? Claim the throne. No exposed agents yet. Interesting. Well... That will be pretty easy to, uh, kill them once that happens. Ask the Head of Faith for gold. Yes, please and thank you. Give me that money. I've been a good Catholic. I have only killed a few of my family members, but I was a different- I was young and, you know, things have changed a lot since then. Let's improve that stuff here. The major thing is, is when we die, since we disinherited him, he does like me again. I have a feeling that his brother does not love him very much, but... Okay. Does Ishmael have no shame? Apparently not. 
So these guys are almost done with this war as well, and then I can claim the Duchy of Toledo. I can give that to my son. Household soldiers. Interesting. What is that about? Where's that at? I don't know. Guilds. That'd be pretty interesting. Trebuchets. Hoardings. Castle Baileys would be nice. Divine Right. Short reign penalty would be good. Title creation cost. Monthly piety, 10%. Domain taxes. CB prestige. The domain limit is nice, but... Heraldry. Monthly prestige. Can enact high partition. House seniority law. What's this one? The oldest member of your house will inherit all your titles. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't want that, but that is interesting. Scootage. Thirty-one years. Let's go with the Castle Baileys. What about knighthood? What is this? Direct vassal opinion. Yeah, let's go with that, actually. That sounds better. And our goal is definitely going to be to build up these guys, so we're going to keep on building them. Those guys are finally done, so I will now usurp that title from him. The title of this, whatever this is, it's going to cost me, and I will gain prestige, and I will then give that title to my son. My son shall be the Duke of Toledo. There we go. See? There we go. Now, now he'll be happy. He will be a pretender. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like he is a pretender. He'll probably be a pretender after he... Cannot inherit titles from any other dynasty member. Interesting. This seems very easy to get around. I will inherit this. The County of Medellin. Who controls that? Somebody else from my family. Interesting. So who are you? So then, it cost me 144 piety. Which I don't have. Hmm. Okay. That's really interesting. Claim thrown against your leash. Interesting. Don't have much dread. Yeah, I have no dread. <laughs> So how much prestige does my son have? Just 600. And my other son has 300. That's pretty good. Alright, cool. Another dangerous faction. Uh, yeah. So I'm not really sure how to change this, because it seems like it's gonna just keep happening over and over again. Let's go to the holding. Is it because of control, I assume? Like, could that be why? Countess Blanca. Sure, you can be my friend, Countess Blanca. Well, let's spend a few months and get a war chest built up, just in case. Yep, yeah, okay. To the evil King Alfonso, we do not understand your vile oppression of good Andalusian Malvo... Mualdus, any longer our time is now at hand. Uh, nope, you will uh, very handedly be destroyed. The Duchy of Toledo. So I don't want them to group up. St. George protects us. The age of jihads has occurred. And uh, what in the world? Okay. Didn't know I was in on another war. So jihads are here. <laughs> better army commander. Let's see here. Can I? Do I have a better one? No. I don't. Oh my gosh, they have so many men. So they're attacking me. Yeah, that doesn't sound very smart. Yeah, they just suicided. That's great, actually. 
It's like best case scenario. So there is zero control in this army. Let's uh, see here. Enforce the demands. Now can I ransom you? No. But I can demand your conversion. And I shall. Alright, cool. So we've gained the Duchy of Toledo and we've given it to our one son in hopes of kind of placating him so he doesn't contest it when Alfonso takes the throne from our current Alfonso, who is now the ripe old age of 60 years old. So, hope you guys did enjoy. I know I certainly did. If you did, show your support and leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see more uploads like this every day. If you guys are enjoying CK3, please let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten some time to play it. I know it's been out for a couple of days by this point. How are you guys enjoying it? What are your opinions and thoughts? I think it's pretty good. Um, anyways, if you want to check out the community discord or support me on my Patreon page, the links for both of those are going to be in the description below, as well as the link to our Teespring. If you want to check out some of the cool merch that we have for sale down there. So that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.